Hello beautiful people around the web, I'm Snickers HD and your host for today's video. Today we'll teach you how to play Pyro 101 in King of the Hill lobby from the tf2center.com network. So let's start. Alright, first up, I will not always talk about what is going on the screen. I will often may refer to what happened or what happens, but not always because I, I have not enough time to cut it whole video about that together and wrap around it. So what I do is now present you my loadout. First up I have the decreaser, second I have the shotgun and third I have the home wrecker. The mall works too, it's just an alternate skin basically, but this is how I run my loadout usually. It depends, but the only thing if I'm going to change things is my shotgun. I change it to the detonator or the scorch shot. Uh, when I do this I have most likely range problems, which is on payload, on bad water as defense for example, and I have to make sure that the sniper cannot be um, free, so I occupy him with just flares. I know that I can actually, um, I'm feeding the other pyro, but it just points, he can extinguish, but you know, that's just points, it really doesn't matter, it's just, it's just about annoying people. Okay, this is my loadout. The reason why I choose this loadout is this. The greaser, first up, you change faster to your alternate or secondary weapon. This is mandatory for my playstyle because I try to just spy shack with my uh, main weapon with the, with, with the degreaser. But what I do is not just walk at people, but I spy shack deflect or blast them away and then finish them off with my shotgun. That works perfectly fine for me because if you, are, if you just walk at them with your uh, flamethrower you are very predictable and you are closing in on space that maybe a spy can use to backstab you. Because if he is backstabbing you he tries to, to maybe stair step you or he's trying to whatever, he's trying to jump around you or make use of that ping of yours. It's really depending on who's playing, but you, if you play long enough, you actually get what I'm talking about. So I try to keep my distance, but also being able to close in very quickly. That is how I play Pyro, basically. So what is your job? Your job is to stay with a combo. What is a combo, you may ask? So a combo is the Medic, the Heavy, and the Demo Man. That is the usual combo, and you stay with them. So you are four people running around the whole time. That is not always the case, but that is how most people play it. The combo ca may consist of just the demo man and just uh, the medic, but always the medic and some uh, damage dealing class. When you are by the combo, and this is king of the hill I remember, if you stay by the combo you ensure, and that is your task, you ensure that the medic or the combo carriers are not being backstabbed by a spy. By the way, this is a very good example of closing in but keep my distance. I know that he's going to stare at me, but I was deflecting him. He was trying to move around me with my latency in his mind so he could actually sidestep me, but I moved back in time. This is this is what I mean. If you move in too quickly, I think, yeah, he's just running away. No, he's going to turn around and may eat that damage, but he is also going to backstep you, so be aware of that. Being by the combo means that you try to deflect incoming rockets and pills. Also, try to save your medic, like I do right here. He kills him with the crossbow, but I deflect everything away. This is quite hard to do sometimes, because their pyro could have easily just kept on firing and might have killed the medic, because I pushed them into one another, and that is very dangerous to do. But it worked out fine. What I do now is covering the flanks too. We have a very good advantage and I don't overextend. I die of overextension, which means I go further than I should do. And by the way, this is why I use the home wrecker. The home wrecker I use because I just can unzap things. I get points for that. And also the spy died here. I pick up the ammo kit and it didn't count towards my ammo. So I, I, I didn't get ammo from the ammo kit, which means that he has a dead ringer. I checked back. And now I show you just the progress, how I keep on checking. And this is a very... Uh, it's, it's a boring thing to do, we just keep on checking. Now I see that the sniper is having problems, and that was the spy with the dead ring, and I saved his life because of that checking. You have to always be on your guard. Their spy, I checked the stats in the end, that he couldn't do anything. He couldn't do anything. 
I check the whole time. And that is what you do. You check. This is Pyro 101. Have fun and we see us next time. Keep it up as always.